Good morning, science learners! Welcome to another science learning episode for quarter 4, week 3. For today's video lesson, you will learn about the processes in water cycle. At the end of this video, you are expected to 1. Explain the processes in water cycle. Describe the importance of the water cycle. But before we begin, please be ready with your science notebook, ball pen, and take note of the important concepts of our today's lesson. Ready? Great! Let's Amazing. begin! Can you still recall our previous video lesson? Good! In our previous video lesson, you learned to identify, describe, and classify the sources of water, such as sea water, fresh water, and ground water. Also, the uses of water from different sources in the context of daily activities. Have you ever wondered where the rain comes from? Or how the clouds are formed? Well, this is what the water cycle is all about. Come and join me as we discover more about the water cycle. When the sun heats up the bodies of water, such as ponds, lakes, rivers, seas, and oceans, water turns into water vapor and it rises up into the air. This process is known as evaporation. Evaporation is the first step in water cycle. Plants help in putting water back in the air. The evaporation of excess water from the stomata present in leaves of plants is called transpiration. Humans and animals also release water. When animals breathe, their lungs release water vapor to the atmosphere. This is called respiration. Do you know that you can see water vapor at home? Here's what to do. Heat some water in a casserole. Observe. As the water gets heated, you will see a water vapor rising up in the air. When the water vapor reaches up in the sky, the cool air of the atmosphere causes the water vapor turns into tiny droplets of water. These water droplets, together with the gases and dust particles, come together to form clouds. The process is called condensation. Do you know what condensation is? Condensation occurs when the water vapor cools and condenses in the atmosphere until it becomes droplets of water which form into clouds. Condensation is the second step in water cycle. As more and more water droplets group together, the clouds become bigger and heavier. When they cannot float in the air, they will fall into the ground as rain, sleet, hail, or snow. This process is called precipitation. The 
when it rains, some droplets of water goes to the land. The water in the land is absorbed by the plant. The water that absorbed by the plant undergo transpiration and will start water cycle again. Also, when it rains, some water fall on the bodies of water. This cycle is repeated over and over. The sequence of events is known as water cycle or hydrologic cycle. Water cycle is also known as hydrological cycle in which it needs energy from the sun and earth's gravity to keep moving on its own cycle. Water cycle as continuously circulation of water between land, bodies of water, and the atmosphere through different components such as evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Water cycle is important because it is how water reaches plants, animals, and us. It provides people, animals, and plants with water. All life is dependent upon water. Water makes up 60 to 70 percent of all living matter, and humans cannot live without drinking water for more than a week. Although there is a continuous cycle of water, might wonder if there will come a time when we will run out of water. This happens because about 97% of the water in our surrounding is salty. Thus, only 3% of this water is fresh or potable. This very small amount of fresh water is 67% locked in the form of ice mainly found in Greenland and Antarctic. Therefore, only a very small amount of fresh water is found in rivers, lakes, ponds, and in the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. Here are the important concepts of our today's lesson. Water cycle is a continuous movement of water in the Earth's surface. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation are the processes involved in the water cycle. The sun plays an important role in the water cycle because of the sun's heat, water evaporates and becomes water vapor. Water cycle is important to maintain balance in nature. The water cycle ensures a continuous supply of fresh water which is important to plants, animals, and people.